You know, some of you may remember this from a previous video. Uh, this is a burly curly maple that was taken down locally. Um, this particular log we're going to be looking at today is the butt log out of this tree. So get ready to see some really nice slab. Hey everybody, welcome back to the iron... Wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> everybody, welcome back to the Iron Oak Sawmill. White oak on the mill that we're going to be milling today, but what uh, we've got to get restacked is the burly maple, I'm going to call it, burly curly maple, something like that, um, that we got from the off-site mill. The one that you've seen in many videos, parked out here at the end of the driveway for so long, and you saw us uh, haul it off and bring it back. It's time to restack it and get it stickered and get it strapped, and especially, big thing, get a look at it. All right, so let's get started. We moved ourselves into the backyard and we're going to move this thing completely different as we did before. We're going to use the machine like we should have been using. <laughs> the thing will lift the house, but here we are struggling to lift these by hand. Didn't make any sense at all. Okay, first off, the very top of this one. Uh, it's cut down pretty far. Let me see. Yeah, first cuts down here about eight or nine inches because he just he, before he got into some good solid wood but this 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 and this are all going to become turning bowl blanks something along those lines um which he knew about but then those are all oh, curls through there all right okay where are we putting it now i don't know <laughs> Set it over here for now. Ready? Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. I'm going to set my end down and I'm going to stand it up, okay? Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> yeah, get that camera over here. All right. Ready, folks? Take a look at this. Oh, 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 man. That is cool. That is cool. And this is just the first cut off of here. Wow. Burl, curl, compression figure, spalting. Wow. You getting this, Deb? I think I am. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not moving it. I'm gonna get in a little closer. Yeah, I was gonna say you're gonna. Have to Look at this. Wow. Can I go get the hose now? Yeah, let's get the hose out here or the bucket of water or something. Let's see what we can do. You ready? Are you ready? Ready. I'm ready. Ah! There, you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Don't get the camera wet. Wow. You seeing this? Yes. Yeah. I got it dirty. <laughs> Holy. That is amazing. Cool. Cool? This is beyond cool. Wow. I mean, I knew there was a lot in this. Here you go, Mr. Chuck. I knew there was a lot in this, but this is... I hope you guys are catching all this. Throw my shadow over it. See if that helps. I don't know. Let's get in close here. Look at the figure in this. This is spalting. Wow. Let's not spend too much time on one. Big burl section here. Yeah, Come out this there. side. Spalting here. Right up there. And then getting down in just the regular trunk of the tree, 
sure it's straight green maple, but <laughs> you got the bug holes here along the side. And it's bolting on this end. We're not even into the log yet. I mean, this is this is still the outside edge. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's keep looking. Oh. Um, I might need a plastic wedge and a sledgehammer. I can't move that side. There we go. Here. Yeah. Kind of stuck together. Ready? Yep. That's spalted in a couple of feet. Wow. I don't know what, wow, where did that green come from? The green streaking in there. Looks like some sort of a, uh, wow. <laughs> some kind of mineral staining in here or something. check stickers but I'm going to show them this side too. Nice. Here we go. Wow. Boom. That looks amazing. I'll get the glare off of there somehow. There we go. It's coming from this way. Coming in with the broom. Hold on, hold on. Look at all that burl figure out there. The compression figure down here, just the, the curl all the way down this side. And you could see this in the spalting on the end. You could see this in the log when the bark came off, the undulations in the, in the outer layer, of the sap layer of the tree. Wow, this is loaded with character. Pause. Well, this is a mirror of that, so mm -hmm. we've seen this. So let's get this one flipped and get a look at the other side. Okay. Ready? Yep. Your fingers. Yeah. Look at that. Oh man, look at that detail pop out. There's your water. Wow. Man, I'm just sorry. I'm speechless, man. This is amazing. This is amazing stuff right here. And I'll tell you what, the cut is not bad. It's a fairly smooth cut. Look at, I mean, look at this right here. All the way down through. And you've got all kinds of spalting, branch, nub, burl, whatever this is growing over here. This would have ended up as firewood. And all the way down this side. You can see the curl going down, and then you get down in here, and you got the spalt. In. <laughs> Ruh -roh. Oh no! Well, we got our first bit of insect damage on the other side of this, so you need to swing. Yeah, epoxy work on that one. Okay, dip sweeping off the underside of the one we just flipped off of there. It's a slab number three off the log. That's the other side of it. I don't know if you can really see the detail on that. All right, well, we got the beginnings of the ant damage still. I mean, it's not mush. 
but that's epoxy fill there. That's yep. for sure. Let's go up on here. Come your way. Wow. And here we go. This side's still amazing. That's all still amazing. I don't care. This stuff is awesome. Ready? You got it. Cast a shadow over that a little bit. Or not. I don't know which looks better. Yeah, that stuff is whew, down here. Again, just at the base here. Yeah. It's straighter. It's you got the darker heartwood here. You got all this figure along the edge. It's all curl. Wow, spalting back up in here. This burl just keeps growing out this side. We're going to pick up some crotch figure soon because there's a branch nub sticking out here. A little bit, a bit of epoxy work. I would, I, I'd like, I prefer clear epoxy. I'm not one for the colored epoxy because I still want to see that. I want to see the detail of that. Clean it out with an air hose, seal it, pour epoxy in it. Oops. Done. Watch out, honey. I got dirt on the neck. And then this one. It's a pretty good size knot hole in there, but it probably goes in a little bit deeper on the next couple of them. Man, this stuff looks awesome. Let's get that one moved over here and get the next one flipped. That'll all dump out when we get there, so. All right. Well, this is the one, yeah. This is slab number four. The wider side of the slab. Nice, let's get some water on there. You got water there, hon? Yep, I'll get it. All right. I'm getting the water, I just don't want to step on it. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Except for when Deb sprays the camera. <laughs> this is this is really look at this. That burl still has everything to offer there. Let me tell you. And now and it's it's got a lot more of that green going down through it. Wow. And you, like I said, that crotch we said we were going to pick up, here it come. Right along here, a little bit of a bark inclusion in it. But that, can you see that grade in there? Wow. Nice stuff. Solid bark inclusions here and here. All of this sunburst pattern here. Still part of that burl. Wow. Even all the way out to the edge. This stuff is amazing. Hey, sorry guys, we'll get some measurements on the next one. But meanwhile, let's get this one stacked up and get ready for the slab number five coming off of here. Well, that one, I guess. Quick. 
Oh, it's a little stuck together, that's all. Gee. <laughs> wow. What? I just, that's, well, it's the same thing we just looked at on that one, but dry or wet, still looks awesome. Yeah, it came off. Stay there. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm going to actually wash this out. It's dirt packed in there. Hold it, hold it, you got it. Now that should all pour out of there when we lay it down. Wow. Yeah, even though we're losing some of the burl initially, it's still. <laughs> wow. That green staining is just awesome in here. That's gonna that's gonna be a neat little feature. This should be the last slab. This is slab number six that we're looking at right now. That should be the last one about with a hole in it. it should be back to solid wood. So let's, uh, you want to spray the one on the ground? Yeah. Got a rainbow. <laughs> there it is. Wow, 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 wow. Man, people chop this stuff up for firewood. And bark inclusion, still got some burl figure in here. You got the branch encapsulation over here and the branch hole and then still all the way down this side or down at this end you got the spalting and that awesome green color that's just I, hopefully that's all right let's check out the length here i'm sorry just a little over six foot about six four On that, and on the big end, and about the widest point, five foot. Hold on, let me see that in. 60 inches over here, five feet. Whoops, sorry, there you go. Nice. And then down here in the middle, about 29 and a half, 30. And on the butt end, this was a very edge, it was on the ground, 32, oh, no, let's get all the way over there, 34 and a half, nice. Go ahead, I can't get my hand under it. Trying to tilt. There you go. Ready? Yep. Uh, hold that up. Four. Not ready yet. Got it? Yep. Lean you sure? A lot of dirt in there. Yeah, that one goes all the way through. You getting splattered? Taking one for the team, huh? Not really, but no, I'm kidding. I got it. Well, seven foot tall, uh, five foot wide, or is it six foot tall? Hey, these were taller than six foot. Come on, it, I'm six foot. This is seven foot. Um, Five foot wide up on the wide end, about 30, 32 inches on the smaller end. Man, this has got some beautiful burl figure in here. Curl, color streaking, uh, spalting, you name it, it's in this one. These are beautiful. Let's get this one stacked. Works. And we're gonna watch this little guy right down here. 
Curiosity killed the cat, buddy. You better watch yourself. And on top of everything else, we've got a storm blowing in behind us. <laughs> All right, get him out of the way. I'll move this over. One of two left. Come over this way. Maybe. Okay. Oh, sinker's not even going to be on there. I know. I'm walking them over slightly. We're back on. Dub. Here you go. I'm going to keep on getting you. This is a guy who keeps holding us up. It's a stub. That's why he's stub. We have no idea what happened to the end of his tail, but he lost it. Come on, buddy. Go hang out in the uh, black walnut logs over here, out of the way. There you go. Stay over there. Two more there. Or there are two more over there. Oh, man. There's no disappointment in this log at all. This is amazing. Even more spalting, picking up a lot of the burl figure from the other side of the tree. Man, now we got it. See the good angle for this one. I'm starting to make a mud hole back here though. That's no fun. There you go. Let's just zoom from here. Let's do that. That's awesome. Uh, getting some glare on that side. Getting glare everywhere. I can't even get in glare. There's no sun. You can see the, si the sky reflecting in the water. Man, it's spalting, curl, compression figure, burls, crotch figure, mineral staining. It looks like with that green stain going down through it. It says everything. Except metal, thankfully. No metal in this one. The metal was in the black walnut. Ready? Hey, going up. Oh, slide. Don't slide. Okay? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, good. I think that's... Oh, now we got some red mineral staining. Okay. Here's the back side of that last one. Slab number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Slab number nine. And a cat piece. And we got our cat piece, which could turn into something. Maybe if it's thick enough for, for uh, turning. This is amazing looking stuff. <laughs> so glad to finally get this out there. This, oh wow, that is just loaded with burl right Man. I see a face there. Where do you see a face in there? Yeah, it looks like a little eye. Uh, right there? Yeah. I forget what they call them. I told you. It's haunted. Yeah, it looks like a little munchkin, that, the gremlins. Oh boy. It's haunted with gremlins, Deb says. Good looking stuff here. <laughs> wow. Now it's just a matter of time before we can get to use this in some projects, but, uh, or pass it on to some others. But hey, check it out. That's what we're trying to beat. Coming over the, coming over the trees there. See the darkness through the trees there? Maybe you can't, but it's pretty dark over that way. And I don't know if you can hear it in the background, the uh, thunder's been rumbling pretty good, so. Let's get this done. Ready? 
Go. I actually don't think, I don't know, do we need it for the next one? Might be able to just pick that up by hand. Ready? How are we, you okay there? Are you ready? I'm ready there. I think it should, yeah. I'm going this way. Step over. Now the boards are in the way. <laughs> Take over towards you. I'm pulling them out. Here. Hold on, that sticker's screwed up. Took a lot longer than we expected it to. Even the outside of this is nice. <laughs> we do have the piece. Well, everybody, I hope you like that. I know I did. That, that maple curl, burl figure, mineral stains, spalting, and just all around great color to it. That stuff is amazing. Uh, I, I, I use that word a lot, but that is, you. well, you saw it in one part. I was absolutely just speechless looking at it. Uh, Smiling from ear to ear, too. That stuff, I think that's another one. I think that's going to be dried down to 20% and taken to the kiln. Uh, I don't want to wait two and a half, three years to use that. That stuff is too nice. So maybe about one year in, but this time last year, or <laughs> I'm sorry, this time next year, we can uh, check on getting that back out to the kiln and getting that dried down and be able to start using it because that stuff is awesome. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know Deb and I did a little bit of heavy lifting. Hey, we did it the smart way this time, using the, using the uh, the machine to do the picking up part. We just had to do the flipping over part, but uh, went real well. It's stacked, stickered, and strapped back here, and uh, just waiting for that twenty percent, and we'll go from there. So hey, hey uh, Deb and I'd like to thank everybody for checking out this video. Um, if you have any questions about anything we do in here on the mill, any of the tools we're using, the methods we're using on the mill or even our blades, whatever it is, even our video equipment. Uh, be sure to put those questions down in the comments section. We're glad to help you out. As always, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. We'll see you out there next time.